Hello ladies and gentlemen. We are at the field today and we have a special guest. It is beautifully sunny, about 80 degrees, almost no wind at all. And we're gonna get a few flights in today. It's the one and only Mr. David Hoskins. How's it going? He's got himself a Spectre V2 with a V-Control Touch, Scorpion ESC, and Eagle Drift motor. Freshly built, got like eight flights on it now. We're still working on getting it tuned in. Built him a new charge case. It's what, like half the size of your old one? My other one was like a uh, 1950 suitcase. <laughs> Seems to be liking that, so that's cool. Real quick tip, on these trays that are, uh, got a bunch of hole cutouts and stuff to make them lightweight, you'll often get like grass and dust and dirt on the other side of the Velcro here, the side that's not on the tray. Something I learned, yeah, kind of like that. <laughs> Something I learned, uh, if you take some packing tape and run it across the back of the tray, wherever the Velcro is, no longer is it sticky and it won't attract dirt or anything and it's a little bit uh, stronger held to the tray a little bit better too just a quick tip for you i like that so i have with me the spectre v2 and the nimbus 550. i'm gonna be putting some more flights on that i changed the pinion out like i said i was going to so now i have a 11 tooth pinion which should significantly help with the overheating issues that I was having. Other than that, it's unchanged. Spectre V2 is just trucking along, flying great. See, he's got the right blades on it. Good old ultimate. One thing I like about it is it's very smooth on like the Puros and, and the transition. It's like a lot of other helicopters I've flown, it seems like you have to have a lot of stick movement to make it do those same maneuvers. And this one's just like very little. So I'm very happy with it. Have you flown those blades before? I Because a lot of it's probably those. Not the Ultimates. Um, long, long time ago, I flew the, the ones that were the, whatever the gold edition. Was. Regular Ultimate. Regular, regular right, 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 yeah. I don't have anything bad to say about these, but I don't have a lot of flight time to... Because they are very agile yeah. blades. They're designed to be fast. I think it'll get better the more and more I get it tuned in, but right now it's still, it still needs some tuning. We'll get there. Yeah. Buddy. I did forget to mention I got these new tail fins for the Nimbus uh, because I broke the stock one on the first day. Uh, just like the V2. Just... Uh, you know smaller and i will be selling these as well so be looking for that so this is 1900 rpm
is 2100. again. Let's see. Over temp? Yes, sir. I overheated the ESC. I was going to say, it get hot? Well, it's like, it's like 87 when I was driving around, so it's hot. YGE 125? No, it just... Shuts off. I can see the temperature there. 90 oh, on, the on the left. 90C. Oh, I'm just let it cool and then keep going. So the pinion didn't completely solve my problems. I'm not really sure what's going on. Flight mode one. I don't know why it's doing that. Do you have to power cycle it to reset it or just? I don't know. We'll find out. Some air in there. Is it not in the canopy? I think so. Twenty seconds. Nope, that made it hotter. <laughs> <laughs> it's at eighty right now. I don't know what's going on. I think there's some settings I need to change. Just sitting right at 80. Yeah, I might do that next. Yeah. I can't believe how quiet it is. I can't even hear it. You just hear blazing motor.
Okay. Guitar. So yeah, I'm still overheating and I don't know why. That ESC is getting really hot. It took a little bit longer than it did with the 11 tooth, so it improved a little bit, but it's still getting insanely hot. And I cannot figure out why. The motor is pretty hot too. I don't know. I'll have to do some tweaking. I don't have, like, when I got pissed off at the hobby, I went in and, like, removed every group and every person I knew, and I was like, I'm just done with it for a minute. Now I'm, like, trying to figure out who's still in business <laughs> and who to order from. Yeah, a lot's changed in Can the we last few years. off this guy? Yeah. What'd you do here, Keith? I don't know. It really annoyed me, though. I don't know how it happened. Hanger rash. Does it come off, like, the same way? Pretty much, yeah. Magnets, too? That's like the same frame, smaller. Pretty much, yeah. It flies just like the Spectre, just smaller. So does it use some of the same parts, like the tail belt guides? They look the same. I don't think so, because these are six millimeters. The belt on the V2 is eight. Right. A lot of the parts from here are from the XL550, like the V1. Okay. Like pretty much the whole head, the whole tail, other than a few small changes, it's the same as the V1. So we've got to go pretty soon, so I'm going to do one last flight on this thing uh, without a canopy to see if the ESC is more manageable uh, temperature wise. And then when I go home I'm going to check out the settings and see if I'm doing something wrong there. Figure out why it's getting so hot. But uh, got to get at least another flight on this today. Let's go for 2200. Seventy degrees. Manageable though. Huh? Is it thirty degrees to Uh twenty. Seventy still.
Oh, got up to 78. So the max temperature was 85. So it's, not bad. Is that Fahrenheit? it's five degrees less. Than, no Celsius. That's Celsius. Yeah. So five degrees below shutoff temperature. <laughs> yeah, something's canopy off. Something's definitely wrong. I would, I would go in and check all your stuff again. All right, we're packing up. Just a quick, a quick eight. at the field. Yeah. <laughs> Everything's in one piece. We're going home. He's going to pick up a tail fin for a Spectre because he is also not a fan of the stock one. And then, uh, yeah, that's it. Sounds about right. <laughs> so we'll see you next time. We'll probably be doing this again at some point, right? Oh, yeah. Maybe, time a, of the year. maybe a day when I have more time available. All right, see you around.